Hey everybody, in this video I'll be showing you how to attach your stapling finisher that's right here, this unit right here, to your Xerox copier. This I'm using a work center 70A55, but it should work the same on pretty much any any Xerox that looks like this, whether it's a 75 series, 78, 79, or so. So let's get started. Uh, if you purchase this machine from us, or a machine from us, I should say, you will be receiving the stapling finisher, which is right here, this unit right here, and it will come with your bracket and your tray. So this is your tray, this is your bracket here, and let's get started how, let's get started on how we would install it. So first off, we're gonna install the tray. It's real easy to do. You just drop it into the slot, just like that, and once you have these two clips, you're good to go. So okay, now that we got that tray in there, we're gonna grab the bracket and install it on the machine. Now, you need those two screws. You don't need uh, any flathead screwdriver, so you could just do this by hand. If for whatever reason your screws are real nice and tight, just and you can remove it with your finger, just get a flathead screwdriver. So uh, first off we're gonna do is grab the bracket, and you see those holes, those two holes right here and right there, they have to align with this little ribbit, if you will. You put that in there and it has to line up just like that. So pretty much it goes like, it, it lined up with a hole. Once you have that, you take those two screws you took out by hand, put a little pressure down on that bracket and screw those in. You could do it by hand. It doesn't have to be super, super tight. Just as long as it, you tie it the best you can, you're good to go. Just like that. Notice that we're not using a screwdriver. So there, we have our bracket installed. There's times where this is a little bent. Uh, if, you're, if yours is a little bent or you accidentally bend it, just with your hand or even pliers, you can straighten it out. Just As long as it's nice and straight, just the way you see it there, you're good to go. So next thing we're going to do is go to the finisher and pop that cover out with your hand. So put that aside there. You're going to go on back of the machine here. You're going to pop that cover out. Now, we're going to position the machine here. Let me do it in a better angle here. Okay. So now we're going to roll the finisher up to the machine. Make sure the gray cable is, you know, hanging to the side. Make sure it doesn't get in the way. You can set it like that. Let me move over here so I can have a better angle so there you go you got your two cables that are coming out of your finisher just set those aside and align the finisher just like that and snap it in okay there's time that will snap in and there's other time that it's not so what you got to do is you see that little bracket i'm going to go ahead and have him pull it out again that bracket you just line the finisher in and push that bracket in until it locks in place and now your finisher is locked so you're Almost done with the whole process. All you're left with is the cables. Now, the gray cable that's coming out of the bridge goes to the machine. It goes to the right side, if you're standing in the back of the machine, to the right side. It only fits on one side anyhow. Then you're gonna grab your two cables. One of them is your power cable. It feeds off the machine. It goes right there. On the right side and then you take your last cable and you connect it you seat it into there now you can put your covers back in there so that it looks nice and you know pretty but not many people looking back at the machine anyway so it's just like that and you do the same with that then you are done good luck guys